بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم um, What is the reward for fasting? Fasting has many rewards. For first of all, um, for many people, the reward may be small, depending on the intention of a person, depending on how they fasted. So some people, the fasting has nothing. It is only a um, hunger and thirst. It is nothing because they have been sinning all through the day with eyes and ears and they have committed all the sins during the day with their tongue and hence fasting is only hunger and thirst for them and there is no reward in the hereafter. For some, um, the, the reward is much greater and that could be in terms of their sins being forgiven. For some, they will be rewarded something grand, just not forgiveness but also uh, they may be rewarded with some knowledge or some special blessing or some special uh, attribute they will acquire in this month. For, for some, it is much higher. They actually go into the next rank. They, you know, Iman has many ranks and they improve their Iman. And from Iman, they go into the status of Taqwa, you know, piety. And then from there, they go into the status of certainty. So every month of Ramadan, every year when the, Ramadan, the month of Ramadan comes, Many people improve and they go into the next stage of Iman or they go into the next stage of uh, piety. For some, they, they pray very hard and they achieve a prayer. For example, they ask for martyrdom or I don't know, for special knowledge. And others in Hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, As-sawmu li wa'ana ujzibih. Fasting is for me and I will reward for it. Meaning, only I will reward my servant. And some say, Ujza. I am the reward. So some people are so uh, blessed that they actually achieve, they attain the ma'rifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They actually attain uh, proximity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The jawar uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where they become extremely close to the Almighty. Where they have spent 30 nights with Allah, meaning they, they leave the world and they become so close that actually they have become um, so used to of Allah subhanahu wa that they actually, after even the month of Ramadan has gone, they enjoy being with Allah, like in prayers or in a recitation of Quran or reading a dua. They, they enjoy those moments that they, and they become uh, so attached that even after the month of Ramadan has ended, they want to fast. They want to pray and they continue doing those things um, uh, in a different way, in a different manner. But unlike other people, when the Eid comes, everyone actually, God forbid, go back to their old routines and some people don't. Their routine has now improved. They may not be fasting, but they don't sin even after the month of Ramadan. So it all depends on uh, an individual, what they attain. And, uh, but the people who do not fast, they, that's a great sin and if a person intentionally does miss it um, then the punishment is that um, uh, the hereafter uh, the grave and so many other things uh, that are mentioned in in terms of uh, the punishments in this world and the hereafter for the people who intentionally do not fast uh, I do not wish to uh, mention some weird traditions but uh, the consequences the people who miss uh, prayers and fasting are, are severe, both in this world and the hereafter. When a person is leaving the world, they will be in pain. And in the hereafter, the grave will not have any light, the people who intentionally do. And they will be raised, for example, hungry and thirsty who intentionally do not fast. So the penalty is if you accidentally miss a fast, the penalty is that you just make up the fast because of either traveling or because of illness or because of pregnancy, because of many other reasons, genuine reasons, you just make up the fast later on. So if you missed 10, two, three, four, whatever you missed, you make up later. Uh, and the people who intentionally leave out fasting, they have to uh, make up 60 uh, plus one, meaning so, for every fast they miss, they have to make that up and they also have to either feed 60 people or fast for 60 consecutive days, 31 to con continuously, then they can have a break and then re complete the 29 after that. So, um, making up 
uh, all of those fasts is, is in, uh, incumbent. So it is a must. Thank you for listening. Whoa.